Welcome back, boys and girls. Uh, so, I know this is not your normal everyday gaming crap video stuff. Um, I have decided to, um, if you hear noise in the background, it's because Logan decided to open the door and you can hear water running. If you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear that. Yes, I am recording. How nice. He's so considerate. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I, I have been interested in getting, t start tinkering with programming languages. And, uh, and other than my own desire to do that, um, my own interest, not really, well, I guess you could say it's a desire, I digress. Anyway, my boss was like, you know, I need you to learn VB scripting. Uh, it, it bored me. Um, I know I'm going to have to eventually learn it because there's some things that I have to do there at work that require VB scripting. So anyway, on my own time, I've kind of tried to pick up Python. Uh, a lot of people said, why are you looking at Python? I, uh, it's a scripting language. No, uh, no, it's yes and no. Th that's for another video. Um, I, d I was able to create a small console program that did something that I wanted to do. Um, I have not gotten it fully functioning like I want it to, to do. I mean, I've got it down to like the core bare bones of it doing something like what I want. And you can't see me, but I am totally talking with my hands right now. So anyway, uh, so I'm still looking at that. I'm still reading up stuff about Python and and uh, and how it works, um, which is cool and all. But the thing with Python is you have to actually have Python installed in order to make the Python programs work, um, which I mean can be an aggravation because on Windows machines they do not come with Python. Uh, you you have to download it. You have to install it. Um, Unix systems come with Python, I think, and I even think Mac OS has come with Python already installed. Windows does not. Microsoft, get your game together. Start including. Um, you need to really start including Python because there's other languages out there. Then and and I understand that. I, I really understand your mindset. You're trying to push people toward uh, the .NET framework, uh, Visual Basic, you know that kind of stuff. Um, but there embrace the whole community right embrace the whole community uh, I'm rambling again anyway audio modified told me he said if you really want to get the grasp of how languages work get a book this particular book and he told me get um, get C for dummies and I've had people tell me when I was asking the question of people programmers that I know coders uh, what language should I start with what language should I start with and and you know after reading stuff you know I read several things on the internet that said, um, start with you know C because it's a it, it's it's kind of a mid-level language and if, I, I can explain what mid, high, lower that kind of stuff in another video if you'd like. Um, as, as seeing, I'm working through this myself and I'm just this is gonna be like 15 minutes of video of me just talking and y'all staring at my screen. So um, anyway, so I, I ordered the book and I get through like the first the introduction chapter and it tells me to go back and it read appendix a which tells you how to set up your compiler i know nothing about this stuff and that's what that's where we get to this video here is because i had a lot of trouble over this past weekend this is monday evening and i had a lot of trouble over the past weekend trying to set up the compiler and linker they're the same thing they're they're integrated in the same thing as you could get i'm talking with my hands again anyway uh, what I found, it it gave a couple of suggestions. It gave me to sent me to a website. Um, I don't know if you you want to use an IDE or uh, anything like that, but you can you can program with or code however you want to say it in C uh, or C plus uh, plus using an IDE. You can use um, you can use Visual Studio Express. There's there's several out there that you can use. Um, but you have to have a compiler. So this is what this is what I set up, um, and I actually just got it working today. So I installed MinGW, and it is going to be on here, MinGW.org. dot org, org. I like that org. Anyway, go to downloads. Blah blah blah. You want? Um, download. There we go. Looking for the latest version. Uh, there it is right there so I went through blah, blah, download it we won't bore you with that because I have it right here you run it install I already have it installed anyway this is just you know user interface and the start menu on the desktop so we did all that 
run now. See, it's, it's throwing that up because I've already installed. Here's where I got tripped up halfway. I'll tell you that in a moment. I did not know I had to do this. So I'm going, you know, I'm like, okay, why is this popping up? Why can't this just be like an IDE? Why can't it show me where a little command window where I can type and then hit the go button and then it compile and da da, everything works. But no, I had to go through and um, there's a train. Uh, I had to go through and select what I wanted to install. So, what I did, I didn't do all of this right here. I did the basic setup. And the ones that are selected are the ones that I installed. I don't know if I needed any of them. I knew I did not need ADA and Fortran. I am not programming in Fortran. Uh, I'm not, I don't, honestly, I don't have a clue what ADA is. Okay, I don't. But it didn't seem like I needed it. I may. I don't know. Eventually. I don't know. Anyway. I went ahead and did the basic installation. The MySys. I didn't know what it was. It was there. So I didn't get it. Um, the GCC, G++, the C++ compiler. Why not? I'm going to C. You know, I'm messing with C eventually. You know, maybe move towards C++. Objective C compiler is what I want. And basic MySys installation. I still don't know what some of this stuff is. Anyway, I went through, checked the boxes, and I went up here, apply changes, da da, everything installed. This is where I ran into a problem. When uh, I opened up a command prompt, and I drilled into, I think it's documents, I created these, um, let's see, params. This is just folders I created. Uh, that's what the books I do. Anyway, uh, let's read a book. Yeah, okay. Um, no, prog, C, learn. Okay, this is where I'm stored all my stuff. And I go to dir. There we go. We have the, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I've got that to me there. I got to rename that. Anyway, uh, I would type in GCC, which is the compiler. In here, I would type in GCC and, um, matter of fact, whoops, don't go there. Let me drill into here, documents, C programs. I can fix this while I'm in here. So I need to rename this. I need to get rid of, because it's already a C program, a C file. So here's the little program that it told me to start with. And all it does is print to a console this phrase right here. Um, that's it. That's all. So uh, I type this up in basically Notepad. And I mean, come on, it's simple. So once I created it, I, I when I saved it, I saved as, and I made sure I had the, instead of it defaulting to that, um, I made sure I had the dot C on there, like dot C, like that, because I did, you know, all files, and then dot C saved it. Da da. There we go. So when you compile, because if you, it's not going to work, it's not going to do anything. So in order to compile the program to make an application or an executable, that's what that is. You have to type in GCC, then you have to type in the goodbye.c which is our basically our source code now I don't know what this means I hadn't gotten that far yet and then you have to do I guess your output I don't know and the output file name would be goodbye and then you hit good you just hit enter and I was getting an error every time that says uh, GCC unknown something something um, and I was flipping back and forth through the book didn't know what it was what was going on, you know, Googled it, tried to go through forums, what am I doing wrong, and I'm fixing to show you what I did wrong. I'll show you something else I did wrong too, um, because I didn't realize this until today. So, in order to make this work, you have to add, uh, let's see, let me, let me go here, and we'll go in, where did I put it, where did I put it, there it is, MGW, you have to make sure this, the bin folder, is in your path. Now, that's what it kept saying, your path. Now, your path is going to be, um, 
It's in your environment variables. Now, I was not aware of this until after I did a, did a bunch of research. And your environment variables, um, once you register that, this path in your environment variables, uh, it knows if, you, if you're in the command prompt right here and you type in GCC, it the, tells the computer where to look for GCC. You know, it tells it, okay, here's an environment, an, an environment variable, which is GCC, that's the variable in a particular environment. That's in our Windows environment. And it goes, okay, here's in our system uh, environment variables. It says, okay, here's locations. Let's look there. And it goes to look there. And if it finds GCC, it does what it's supposed to do with that particular uh, application, which in this case is a compiler. So it, it did not have that at first in the system environment variables or just the environment variables. So it didn't know where to look and it was saying, hey, I don't know what GCC is. So in order to do that, I'll go ahead and show you that. You go over here, you right click this PC, um, properties, take you there. Or if you're Windows 10 or Windows 8, you can actually right click here on your, uh, basically it's your start button system. You go over here, uh, -da -da, you change settings, which is under computer name. Let's minimize that. And you'll go to advanced. There it is, environment variables. You go in here. This path right here, there's the path. You remember we mentioned the path just a second ago. That's where it needs to be added. I've already added it, and I'll show you where I've added it. You see down here at the end. You uh, you can tell I've already added Python previously. Uh, I had to add this in there. C. You have to do your drive uh, location, and then the folder path where that installation is. That's where Python was added that I added, and then the um, min gw compiler for C and C plus plus C, and then there's our our folder path bin so it knows whenever you're in a command prompt it knows where you know you, when you type in GCC it looks through everything every folder path that's in this variable value and once it it'll look through there and it's like going through the list there's, there's several paths in there and it just gets to like this one right here it's like bin uh, there I find it it's right there you don't believe me there it is GCC MGW bin there it is anyway add that in there so it knows where to look. Hit OK out of it, blah, blah, blah. And here's where I tripped up after that. After I figured that part out, it still wouldn't work. I had to restart. Simplest of things, restart. I'm sitting here banging my head on the keyboard trying to figure out, okay, why is this not working? It's just a simple restart. I should have known that. I've been in this stuff for how long now? And I didn't realize, hey, dummy, you're on Windows. Restart. It's not a Mac. So anyway, you type in now, when you type in GCC, you reference your file because we're in the folder path where the file is located. Uh, like I said, don't know what that is. Maybe that's do the output. There's our output name. Blah, blah, da, da. And let's see, y'all are seeing all my goods up here. And here, and here, and here, and here. There it is. That's it right there. Now, since this is a console application, we need to run it in where? A console. So we do type our application name, you buy, hit enter. There it is. Goodbye, crew world. And it's done. It compiled into this application once I ran the GCC with that information. Uh, just something to help you out because I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was lost. And who knows, maybe I'll throw some more stuff out as I'm figuring this out along the way. So, until then, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Let me know if you'd see something else like this. Um, I'm hopefully going to have uh, a couple more videos out soon. I don't know, just kind of filling this out and see how it's going to work. Anyway, okay, be good. Thanks, guys. Bye.